The war ended in the eighth year of Ashoka's reign, according to Ashoka's own decree, possibly in 261 BCE. After a bloody battle for the throne following his father's death, Ashoka succeeded in conquering Kalinga, but of abomination the revolution changed Ashoka's views on war and led him to vow never to fight a victorious war again. According to the Greek historian Megasthenes in Chandragupta Maurya's court, the ruler of Kalinga had a powerful army of infantry, cavalry and elephants. The political history of the human race is actually a history of war and so many wars, like the Kalinga War, ended successfully for the peace of human society. Result Ashoka saw such blood in his eyes and felt that he was responsible for such a horrible sight. The entire Kalinga was looted and destroyed. 1. Oh, oh, oh. 000 Kaligas died in the war with Ashoka, and almost as many of Ashoka's soldiers died. Thousands of men and women were sent to other countries. Ashoka saw the scene after the war and expressed deep regret and sorrow. Described in Ashoka's Discipline Priyatama King Priyadarshi Ashoka conquered Kalinga eight years after Rajabhishek. Half a million were exiled, a million were killed and many more died from other causes. After becoming the conqueror of Keeling, the devotees began to develop a strong inclination towards religion, devotion to religion and religious education. Now Priyadarshan is deeply regretting for winning. Ashoka paid for the Kaliga's war. Ashoka, who was sent to fight the Kalinga dynasty, was not initiated into Buddhism from the beginning, but spent the rest of his life in non-violence and religious conquest.